In this video, we look at the five coding practices that every developer should know to become top notch. Dang. And by top notch, I mean write clean, efficient, and manageable code. The first practice is to follow the KISS principle. Not that kind of KISS. KISS stands for keep it simple and straightforward. The KISS principle emphasizes the importance of simplicity in code. It's a philosophy that emphasizes simplicity in design and development. The principle suggests that a system or solution should be designed and developed using the simplest possible approach that meets the requirements. It means as a developer, you should strive to keep your code as simple, readable, and easy to understand as possible. When writing code, you should avoid overcomplicating it and use simple and straightforward solutions whenever possible. Complex solutions can lead to bugs and make the code base even harder to maintain. By following the KISS principle, you can make your code easy to understand, maintain, and modify. The second practice is writing comments. Code commenting is the practice of adding notes to the code to explain its functionality. Developers use commenting to document their code and make it easier for other developers to understand. If you don't want your code to resemble a secret message from outer space, when you try to read it a week later, then you better start leaving some comments. Good commenting can help prevent mistakes, save time, and improve the overall quality of the code base. By adding clear and concise comments, you can provide a detailed explanation of the code's purpose, behavior, and limitations. This helps other developers understand the code better and make any necessary modifications easier. The third practice is code review. Code review is the process of reviewing and examining code written by other developers. Developers should review their code on a regular basis and have other developers review it as well. This helps catch bugs and improves code quality and also ensures the code base is consistent with established coding standards. Let's consider Stack Overflow. Whenever we seek a solution on Stack Overflow, we encounter a collection of responses that are ordered based on their effectiveness in resolving the issue. Essentially, we are evaluating the code written by others and how efficiently it addresses the problem at hand. As a result, we engage in the process of reviewing and analyzing the code written by others. Code reviews help identify errors, security vulnerabilities, and potential performance issues, allowing you as a developer to learn from other developers and improve your skills. The fourth practice is refactoring. Refactoring is the process of improving code by making small modifications without changing its behavior. It's an essential practice for maintaining code quality and reducing technical debt. Refactoring helps eliminate code smells, which are signs that the code is poorly designed or structured. Do you smell it? That smell. Common code smells include duplicated code, long functions, and unused variables. Refactoring helps identify and eliminate these code smells to improve the overall quality of the code base. By refactoring regularly, a developer can help keep their code base healthy, maintainable, and scalable. The last and the fifth practice is error handling. Error handling is a process of anticipating and handling errors that may occur at runtime. Developers should include error handling code in the applications to catch and handle errors gracefully. Oh, oh. Here I come. Oh, here I come. Oh. Error handling helps prevent application crashes and also improves user experience. By using error handling techniques such as the try-catch block, developers can catch errors and take appropriate actions, such as displaying an error message or logging errors. Now, thanks for watching this video. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you find this content useful. I'll see you in the next one.